Okay, so once you got the card jacked up and with some jack stands under it, you go ahead and crawl up under it here. I'm, on, I'm coming in from the driver's side, or passenger side, but the drain bolt's going to be on the other side here. So we see the drain bolt here, and that's 24 millimeters. That's where we're going to be using to drain. But the fill plug is up here, and we're going to go ahead and loosen that first. And that's a 24 millimeter. I'm just going to use like an adjustable and see how it goes. You should should be okay. It doesn't look rusty or anything, but let's see how that goes. All right, so I got the 15/16s here. 24 millimeter will also work. Kind of a big one, so I'll see how it works. Alright, so I loosened up the filler. And that came loose, so that's good. And it's draining here. I'm going to let it drain for a good five minutes. Still draining. About well, been going about three minutes now. So I'm just going to keep giving it a little more time here. Okay, now that it slowed down to a drip every couple seconds, I went ahead and um, put back in the drain plug. And I removed the fill plug. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, pump the new fluid into the transmission. Okay, and you can see here I've got my hose from my pump going up into the transmission hole, into the fill plug. It's kind of tight up there. It took me a good minute or so to get the hose in there. Just basically going to slide it in as deep as possible. And then from there, um, start pumping it. And I'll show you how I do the pumping part of it. But this part's pretty simple. Put the hose up in there. It's helpful to have two people for this. Otherwise it could get kind of messy if that guy pops out. That's why I have the drain pan here under it but we'll see how it treats me. Okay, so here's my setup with the pump. I'm gonna go ahead and stick the hose into the fluid jar here. Basically just gonna pump it like this, like a bike pump. It should be about three quarts, a little less, but just keep pumping until each one's gone. Um, then the third one, it's gonna Start juicing out of the top because it only it doesn't take a full three. Alright, and I do have a little, it's not juicing out yet, and I did do the three, but there is a little bit left in each one. So I'm going to go ahead and top those all into one, and then um, pump the rest of it in. But this is the basic idea of it. Um, it's pretty simple. I mean, not much way well, you can really screw this up. The only way you could screw it up is if you had them reversed, and you'd know they were reversed, because it honestly wouldn't be working. Alright, so at this point I'm all finished up. Um, I put the drain and fill plugs back in. Obviously the drain plug I put in before topping it off, but um, you can check your owner's menu for the torque specs. Bottom one you'll be able to torque. The top one, there's, I couldn't get my torque wrench in there. Um, couldn't even get a socket wrench. That's why I had to use the 15 16 regular um, box end wrench. So, you know, hopefully maybe you'll find something better, but that's all I want. I used just under three quarts of um, Pennzoil Synchro Mesh. 
and just I've read that that's good stuff. Um, I would have liked to do some Redline MT90, but couldn't find that here locally, so I went with what I could find. Um, the pump here, just a basic pump from Harbor Freight. You can get similar ones at any store. Um, that's really all it was, 24 millimeter um, bolt plugs. You should be also replacing your little crush washers that are on there. I did not because I don't have access to them locally. Um, so I'm going to monitor this the next few days and make sure it doesn't leak. If it does leak, then obviously, unfortunately, I'll be doing this over again. But, you know, it'll be a lesson learned. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks.